Welcome back everyone to the Ottoman Empire, the glorious, majestic Ottoman Empire. And first of all, I'd like to apologize for the long wait time between episodes, at least from the last one and this one. And it's simply due to a lack of recording opportunities. Hopefully it can be a bit more stable going forth, so it won't be a, such an uh, unfortunate wait time in between. And I've gotten a number of suggestions of what to do with Otto the Ottoman Empire. Uh, I mean... I have uh, suggestions of going communist, I have suggestions of being fascist, I have suggestions of taking Crimea, and even to take Moscow. I mean, Moscow is... I mean, it's very ambitious. I think I can discount that possibility immediately. Uh, especially since I only have, what is it, 50... No wait, is it 49 years left? Am I counting that right? Or am I doing something wrong? 49 years, yeah. See, my uh, math was not my strong suit. It's not what I do the best, as you say. I think 49. Yeah, <laughs> that should do it. So first of all, I should take a tour around the country to see what I have and what I don't have since I'm going back into this. I have this army here, Army of the Danube. I do love that they get their own names, at least some of them. I should rename them at some point. Maybe I'll do that off camera. Since it could take a while to figure out which names would fit. Right now it is the only army that has any name. But it's the one army that will have to disband due to basically it being undermanned. So away you go and now I don't have any named armies anymore. And then I will just have to design a few more of them. So where are my... My Ankara is one of the rally points and Lado over here. Yeah, because I built some... African armies as well and that you can go and sit over here in uh, Khartoum. I do like that name. It sounds like something from I don't know some sort of uh, fantasy book The evil uh, it sounds evil for some reason Khartoum Menacing cool anyway uh, So let's see what was my composition again is 514 so five oh, wait I need to do in uh, in Europe here. Let's take uh, these fellows first. Five. One. Four. No, not Africa. Not Africa. Four. There we go. And then I'll do it again. One, four. One. Five. There we go. Should be uh, doing well enough. It did say near east, so I assume it is somewhere around here, yeah. We have some Iraqi troops being raised. We have some Lebanese troops as well. No, uh, is Palestine, uh, Palestinian troops yet. Honestly, Palestinian's population is not that high. It's only 110. Uh, that's not much at all. But I'm sure they will have soldiers soon enough. And the time is running by, so very, very, very slowly. Also, I have a number of rebel factions, considering uh, you know, I had some suggestions, as mentioned before, being an assortment of different things. The ones that is closest right now, at least, is the Ottoman, um, the Ottoman communists. Uh, and the Egyptian nationalists have a surprising amount of support, even though that is playing rapidly. I wonder why. Now, now it's going again, is it? It's jumping back and forth, let's just say. The Ottoman communists, though, they are not to be taken lightly. They have a lot less potential for brigades. No, they don't. 615. Holy shit. I was reading that incorrect. Holy shit. But I only have two, so that's not too bad. The militant socialists, at least, they have, you know, only a third of the supporters, but 50 more brigades ready to rise in revolt. And they have quite a high revolt risk. So what is causing this? I'm guessing it's the infamy that is raising my... My... What's it called? Consciousness. That might be raising the militancy. Do you have any other modifiers raising militancy? Could be something happening in the different countries. Or is it the taxes? Holy shit, I'm losing money. But what am I losing money on, specifically? I do have, uh, well, it's the stockpile costing money. What exactly from the stockpile? Clipper convoys. 
So, don't tell me that it's the fleet. No, it's not the fleet. And it's not this. It is, basically, I don't produce things enough on my own. Which would suggest that I should be getting assembly line or things like that to improve my own military, uh, industrial cap uh, capacity, because let's just, let's just say it is really poor. So what am I producing and what am I not producing enough of? How much uh, of these things do I need now? I need a hell of a lot. It's ammunition mostly. Ammunition is being uh, a bit poor in production. I don't really have any factory producing ammunition yet, so I should probably find a factory a well, place for a factory. So which state should I place it in? Well, let's see which one. Hudavendiga, Albania and Thessalia. These guys are a pretty decent spot, all of them. Albania, for example, I don't really have the ability to build factories, do I? I do have the ability to switch this party out if I should find someone that I like more. Because I don't really have any... any real amount of capitalists, do I? 7,515 is not that many. But I could invest through them. So, I mean, it could be fine. They are pretty stupid most of the time in what they... The Empire in Crisis. Oh no. The current state of unrest within the Empire has reached the point where the Sultan has been advised to... Abru... What the hell kind of word is that? Abrogate? I never heard of that before. Whatever it is, we did it. The Ottoman Constitution. Absolute power must be returned to the monarchy in order to start a stamp out. Uh, stamp out the militants. You know, honestly, I think I am uh, starting to get a poor eyesight, so I should probably get some kind of glasses to help me read. And while there are those who say that such action will only foster more unrest, there are others who are all too aware that failing to do so will make the Sultan look weak. Well, I will not allow myself to look weak, but I do like reform, so this will cause a hell of a lot of, of problems. This will not cause as... It will raise reactionaries. But I must m move forward with reforms. I'm trying to reform the empire into something greater than what it, you know, was, I guess. And I do... Honestly, I think I should switch out a party. But which party could I pick? These are socialists. Socialists. I cannot pick the communists. It does not allow communist parties. And this one is the one that is reigning. Maybe I should pick the reactionaries. How much do the reactionaries have? They don't have that much. And the conservatives, unfortunately, have protectionism. Which is not that good. Uh, all the liberals have a free trade, of course. Uh, this one has laissez-faire. This one has interventionism. I think I will just go with interventionism for now. And uh, hope for the best later on. Uh, so let's see. There's another aspect I should consider. It's these guys. Well, when will they be unlocked? I already have nationalism and imperialism. So when does that unlock? I think it's at 1890, if I'm not incorrect. Let's see. Uh, the Dark Continent will be 1890, yes. We have a minus 40% chance, which means that when 1890 hits, we will have a 20% chance of getting it. If we get military logistics, we have a 20% increased chance of getting it, and uh, uh, so military logistics seems like a good thing. So let's get that fairly quickly and then focus on the economy, basically. Because my economy is doing piss poor. I don't have any of these things, which I probably should get in order to improve the economy. It could simply also be because they have to buy so much so many things and now it will improve you know when my armies are getting built that is a possibility as well hopefully and some are already done and marching towards Ankara to the station with their, their new friends new colleagues I could organize Chad Sudan and Kenya honestly Kenya would not be that bad of an idea if I could, I would uh, 
do this thing for Somaliland. I would, but unfortunately, I don't think I have enough areas. I think I would need this in order to do Somaliland. Yeah, unfortunately. And considering Germany stole North Somaliland, I don't think I can organize it. No, I cannot. It will be a battle here against Germany to get the remaining parts. Unfortunately, I will be bordering 1, 2, and 3 here immediately. 5 even. So I can do 1, 2, 3, 4. And get all of these. While Germany only has access to this one. Which will essentially complete German... What is it? North... East Africa? I think it was called East Africa. In the real history. German East Africa. And they only got parts of uh, German South West Africa. A shame. A crying shame. This... Someone needs to, you know, kill this. Absorb it into... Absorb it into the British Africa. Just please do it. It looks terrible. And is this... No... They have stolen Danish. Which, which one was Danish? I think it's Akira that started off Danish. And the Brits stole it. Such thugs. Such thugs. Militant socialists have enforced. What? Oh, in Montenegro. I thought it was in my country. Phew. Well, then I don't really give a shit. I could uh, do put them under my sphere again, but I don't think they like me. Uh, they are okay with me. Okay, let's do it. Let's put Montenegro under my sphere. I can... You know, considering the higher amount of people that hate me, and considering that the militant socialists have 66 brigades ready to jump at my throat, it might not be a bad idea to... allow for some kind of voting to happen. I mean, I don't really have to care about... Hmm... I could do it for the healthcare. And then, you know, let the militancy coerce my my people into giving more. Hmm. What is... There's no movements at all. So there's no movements. So I might as well just get healthcare. Healthcare is pretty good. Okay, let's get it. Well, they calmed down. They did. Quite a bit. What did that do to all the rebel forces? Well, the militant socialists were crippled by this result. See, that's how you do politics. You only change something when enough people are mad about it. And then you, you know, you give them the lowest you can find in order to completely put them off. Throw them off. And they lose steam. Massive, massive Germany. In all the lines of me. Perfect. I, why are all everyone allied to Banats? Banats? Why are everyone allied to you? I don't even remember where Banat is. Apparently it's in the German sphere. So you should find the German... Wait, Banat. Banat? Hmm. No, this is getting silly. Let's find the sphere thing. Sphere, German sphere for Banat. Oh yeah, Banat. Of course. It was over here. Why did I think it was in Africa? Oh, well, you'll never know. You'll never know. Well, the army is almost done, the two new armies. My economy is still not improving. Is it... Still the fact that national stockpile is eating so much of the cost. Canned food is expensive. Ammunition is expensive. Artillery is hell of expensive. Can I get more artillery? Can I put high... High focus on this one. This one is important. The railroad... Yeah, now I remember that where I put them here. They are supposed to build a railroad for me. 
At least soon military logistics is done so I can uh, get something like stock exchange or similar things. Or just, let's just get assembly line. Assembly line is nice. Keep forgetting w which kind, yeah, I don't have anything. Military industrial complex. I do like this one because in industry techs are very important. Army tech is very important. Uh, culture tech unfortunately gets a bit of a debuff, but uh, you know, since culture techs are very important in the beginning of the game, uh, it would be nice to have you know that gone, especially in the beginning of the game where, let's just say, research points matter more since you have so few of them. At least commerce is not affected, and commerce is uh, semi-important. I mean, if you're low in cash, then stock exchange and ad hoc money bill printing is very, very good. And of course, these are these are good as well for both prestige and uh, improving your improving. Uh, what, what am I supposed to say? Industry, trading privileges questioned. Hmm. I I I, I like some liberal upper house, please. I cannot enact any reforms, of course not, since the people are not mad enough. I would like to do this based on population instead, so we don't get this, how should you call it, uh, difference between voters' ideologies and uh, the upper house itself. 